What's up guys, we're here in Kanchanaburi, Thailand and in this video we're going to show you the best things to do here. So hope you enjoy it. The province of Kanchanaburi is about a two and a half hour drive to the west of Bangkok. It's easily accessible by road or rail and is a must visit for anyone interested in an authentic Thai experience filled with cultural, natural, and historical attractions. Kanchanaburi City, located on the confluence of the Kwai Noi and the Kwai Yai rivers, is a great place to explore the region from. In this video, we highlight six fun things to do in Kanchanaburi, which can easily be combined in a three to four day visit. You can also find a link to the place that we stayed and more information in the description below this video. Now let's dive in. We are Zach and Ina. We make helpful videos about destinations around the world so you can easily plan your own adventures. The Death Railway is a sad part of Thailand's history. Originally called the Thailand-Burma Railway, it was constructed during World War II by prisoners of war and enslaved civilians under Japanese occupation. Over 100,000 laborers died during its 16 months construction because of inhumane conditions. But today, you can walk or take a train across the bridge, as well as learn more about it at the Death Railway Museum or Jeeth War Museum. You can also visit the nearby Kanchanaburi War Cemetery. Wherever you go in Thailand, you're never far from a night market, and Kanchanaburi is no exception. Located next to the Kanchanaburi train station, this night market sells just about anything. It's a great place to spend an evening sampling Thai cuisine, from a range of rotis and coconut rice pancakes to fresh juices, fried rice, and noodles. Just did some shopping here in the local night market and cost us about three US dollars for a pretty nice meal. I'm especially excited for the roti dessert. One of our favorite temples in all of Thailand is located in the heart of the Kanchanaburi province. Set amongst stunning scenery, the Tiger Cave Temple is located on a hilltop and can be reached by a set of stairs or a small tram. Inside the temple, you can see a massive Buddha image and several sheddies that are divided into different floors. The orange sheddy offers the most incredible view of the Buddha below. But be aware that this temple is still very active, so be respectful at all times. As it's located a bit outside of Kanchanaburi town, you'll have to rent a scooter or take a taxi to get there. Another sacred site worth visiting near Kanchanaburi town is the Limestone Cave Temple, which used to be a concentration camp during World War II. Inside the cave, you can find nine rooms that are connected by narrow passageways. And besides Buddha images, you can also find a room where they illustrate the history of Kanchanaburi during the Second World War. After visiting the temple, you can walk down the road and take in a beautiful view of the river and mountain scenery. And if you can't get enough of the cave temples, there's also another one situated 15 kilometers or 9.3 miles to the west. A nice peaceful thing to do in Kanchanaburi is to simply relax on the banks of the river during sunset. Many hotels, restaurants, and bars in Kanchanaburi are located along the river's edge, offering some breathtaking evening views. And if you're looking for a little more action, it's also possible to rent a jet ski, kayak, or stand-up paddleboard to take in the views from the water. Last but not least, most travelers come to Kanchanaburi to see the picturesque seven-tiered Erawan waterfalls, 
located about a one and a half hour drive or bus ride from Kanchanaburi town. We caught the Erawan bus from the side of Sanchuto Road heading northwest. And you can ask your hotel for an updated bus time schedule since it changes often. Once you get to the falls, you'll see how the water cascades down limestone mountains, surrounded by lush vegetation. You can even follow a scenic hiking trail to different levels of the waterfalls. And some of the turquoise pools are a lovely spot to take a refreshing swim. It's easy to spend a full day here. It's a level 5 waterfall right now and it's really the most beautiful one in our opinion so it's definitely worth it to hike to this one. Of course, there are more things to do in Kanchanaburi that we didn't mention, and we've included a list on the screen here in case you have more days to spare. We also have a full video on the nearby city of Bangkok, so check that out if you're planning to combine that with your Kanchanaburi adventure. And if you're planning your Thailand trip, we recommend keeping things organized with our interactive travel planner. Find a discount code below. Finally, we've included important links that you'll need for your Kanchanaburi trip in the description below such as a full travel guide with where to eat, where to stay, and an interactive map, so you can get to everywhere that we mentioned. We'll catch you on the next adventure.